हेलो एंड वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल वेलकम बैक अगेन टू रिसर्च सर्कल सो वाइल सेंडिंग ए मैनुस्क्रिप्ट और एनी रिसर्च वर्क और ए थेसिस टू यूअर सीनियर और टू एनी पर्टिकुलर जर्नल इट शुड बी एब्सोल्युटली विदाउट एनी ग्रामेटिकल एरर टू इंश्योर दैट यू नीड टू फोकस ऑन द थिंग्स दैट इज वर्क टेंसेस टू यूज इन रिसर्च पेपर और थेसिस सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस the the importance of verb tenses and how we can use this in research paper so while writing <coughs> the two things that is mainly important follow the grammar and style convention while following the grammar you need to very focus on the two factors that is verb and tenses so let's get started so writing should be uh, clearly communicable like communicate it should communicate what uh, why you did it then when it was done and from which perspective you have done it so this much your writing should clearly communicate with the audience now why when talking about the verb tenses it shouldn't have uh, always written in the past tense this is a myth about any research paper or a thesis that if you have done it in the past it should be written in the past tense only it's not like that eventually uh it is it is like in the two tenses exactly so it it we call it as a thumb rule so it is in a past tense and a present tense so broadly i can classify it in a three main verb tenses to use that first is your present second is simple past and the third one is present perfect now let's quickly discuss these three tenses so the present or rather i said simple present tense is to refer the general facts okay then discuss current meaning and implications or used to suggest the future applications in this case you can use simple present tense or present tense now <clears throat> when to use simple past while talking about the event that have already been completed you can use simple past and discrete event occurring in an identified time or a place if this if the event is occurring in a definite time period you can use the simple past tense now when to use a present perfect now it describe event that have occurred at the unidentified time and place time or place and even that have recently been completed or ongoing in that case you can use a present perfect now let's get quickly discuss the five or six parameters or the main important uh, parts of your research paper the first one is abstract in abstract abstract should have of two tenses in which past tense we used to talk about actual results whatever will be the result desired from your research will be discussed in the past tense only then in the present to talk about the general facts the paper itself or the analysis of the finding not the results but you can uh, talk about the analysis of the findings in present tense <coughs> introduction like introduction will be the mixture of present and a uh, past tense like you can use the past tense and present tense parallelly no problem in that literature review like like literature review verb tenses depends on the formatting being used and how are incorporating the literature <coughs> okay so it is particularly recommended to go through the official formatting or the official format of that particular journal then method section you need to use in past tense which is passive voice and use present tense for diagrams figures and tables for results you use past tense to talk about actual results whatever will be the actual results you desired it it should be talk in past tense then in for present tense to talk about general facts the paper itself or the analysis it is more likely the same with the abstract so result and abstract you must follow the same or uh, tenses and verb now discussion for discussion uh, it should be a, in a present to in, in interpret and talk about the significance of finding and it should be in a past to briefly summarize finding so if you are summarizing it 
it is it should be in the past and if you are talking about the future scope it should be in the present tense <clears throat> now conclusion you can refer the conclusion uh, in past tense to refer the complete research and in present tense to refer about implications and suggest suggestions uh, about the future of future research so you must uh, <clears throat> think about it now the research paper should be clear more chron chronically correct and easier to read the ultimate aim of any research paper should be this after that you will be you will find that your research paper or the research work is accepted very easily so you must keep in mind these points and should follow while writing any research paper now lastly golden rule is to check your target journal or conference guidelines this is a very recommend very strong recommendations and the last is read lot of papers through that you only get the idea about the grammar structure of the sentences so read a lot of papers thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to research circle channel share this video and take care of yourself